Dr. Jeffrey Uju uh, from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, a little bit about me, I went to school at Bowling Green State University where I played division one basketball. I got my bachelor's in biology with a minor in chemistry. I also got my master's in business administration from there as well. And I just recently graduated from Marquette University School of Dentistry. If you see me on Instagram, you might've seen me on there before doing a couple of reels. I go by the tall dentist. Uh, I'm here with Zabralter Medical to help and connect black doctors to the black community. So what is dentistry? Dentistry is the profession of prevention and treatment of the individual's oral health. Uh, and this is including the teeth, gums, and the surrounding soft tissue. So I think uh, for me, it kind of changes. I think when I first was going into dental school, it was kind of like the cliche, uh, you know, I want to help people smile, uh, I like tea. But I think now that I've actually graduated through school and have gone through clinic and have seen patients, I really think that my, my why now is giving people a second chance on life. I've actually been able to help take somebody from point A in their life to point B and uh, just kind of see the increase in confidence, increase in beauty, increase in just overall health. And I think that's truly why I love uh, doing dentistry. So I was lucky enough, uh, some would say unlucky, uh, to get my master's in business administration from Bowling Green State University. I had tore my MCL my junior season and uh, I graduated in 2018 and they said, do you wanna another year? And I was like, I might as well, you guys are gonna pay for it. So I, I got my master's in business administration and uh, that kind of helped me when I went to dental school because they said, okay, you're capable of taking on higher level classes and uh, also will help me in my future as well when I wanna open up a practice for myself. To become a dentist, I would say, takes about eight years. That is four years of undergrad where most people that were in my class either were biology majors or chemistry majors. You can choose to do anything else. You just have to make sure that you get your core prerequisites for, uh, for dental school. Uh, once you get to dental school, it's another four years. Uh, the first two years are very didactically driven you're gonna be in the classroom from about eight to five. Uh, at Marquette, the first year was 27 credits. Uh, next the semester after that was 29 credits and the next semester after that was 32. The last two years, you are gonna be working with patients and also filling your board requirements, your licensing exams, getting ready to uh, graduate. I would say salary for dentists kind of varies state to state, but on average, uh, a new grad is looking from anywhere from about 150 to $200,000 a year. Uh, and that will keep progressing as you become more skilled and uh, a lot faster in the clinic. And uh, once you own a practice, you can see upwards of 300 to infinity, basically. For me, I think uh, mentorship is probably the biggest thing that, you could, that anybody could ever have. Um, Life is all about who you know, it's not about what you know. And uh, lucky for me at Marquette, they had a program, a mentorship program, where they link you with dentists working out in the field. So you're able to kind of see what dentistry is like outside of school, get knowledge from them, be able to learn from their mistakes to make you and kind of accelerate your uh, journey a little bit faster. So to get into dental school, um, I saw my graduation that it was, they were talking about for our class, there was 4,000 applications and only 100 people get in. So it is very competitive. What I recommend you doing is taking your DAT early, which is similar to the MCAT, but for dental school and uh, having, just keeping on top of your grades, um, shadowing other dentists. Uh, I, I recommend shadowing general dentists and uh, getting a lot of volunteer hours. Dental schools love that, and if you can do any extracurriculars, that'll also be a very good look on your application as well. There actually aren't a lot of uh, black dentists. Um, I actually just did a video on it, and uh, the estimated percentage of black dentists around the U.S. is less than 3%. Uh, and I know for black males, it's even lower. I'm just happy that I can be one of those and I can help kind of influence the younger kids to become doctors. And you don't have to be a dentist in particular, but I know that I played basketball, I played division one, I, I loved it. As I loved it a lot with all my life and was still able to go ahead and do medicine as well. So both can be done. Um, you know, when you play sports, use the sport, don't let the sport use you. Uh, my advice is just to keep going, uh, but really the biggest thing is find a mentor, find somebody who's doing what you want and be a sponge. Learn from them, 
pick their brain, have a mind for learning because even when you're finished with school, you still have to continue learning. So just find somebody who's gonna be able to teach you and just go right under their wing. Organizations like Gibraltar are very influential to uh, young children and young adults uh, that are considering careers in STEM.